Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 3a. Question asks us to state the domain and range of the following linear function. Hence, sketch the graph. So, refers to the question a, it is a linear function. So, as we all know, the domain for the linear function would be negative infinity until infinity. So, regarding the range, we have to refer the graph. So now what I'm trying to do is to sketch the graph. Since the domain is all real number, so I will let the value for x is equal to 0. So my y will be equal to negative 4. If my x is equal to 1, and my value of y will be equal to negative 1. So now I'm going to plot the value or I'm going to plot the point. So what we have is, when x equal to 0, the value for y will be equal to negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here will be the location. If the value for x is equal to 1, and the value of y will be equal to negative 1. So here we will have x equals to 1. So here will be the point when x equals to 1 and y equals to negative 1. So now I'm going to sketch the graph or I'm going to connect the point. So this is the straight line. So now I'm going to label the graph. So here what we have is negative 4 and the root will be equals to 4 over 3. So this is the graph for fx, 3x minus 4. So now we are going to find the range. So based on the diagram, the range will be equals to negative infinity and infinity. So what we have to know is to refer the value for y. And then the domain, we need to refer to the value of x. So now I'm going to discuss example 3b. The question asks us to state the domain and the range of the following linear function. Hence, sketch the graph. So first I'm going to state the domain. So kindly refer to the questions. We have a function gx which is equals to negative 2 plus 5, comma. We have a range which is negative 1 until 4, where 4 is not included. Based on my experience, the domain for the function g will be equals to start from negative 1 until 4 where 4 is not included. Next, what I'm going to do is to identify the range but the requirement would be sketching the graph in order to get the range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute the value if the value of x is equals to negative 1. So I'm going to substitute the value into the function. So negative 1 multiply with negative 2, we will have 2. 2 plus 5, we will have 7. So the value for y will be equal to 7. If the value for x is equal to 4, where 4 is not included. So if I substitute the value of 4 into the function, so we will have negative 8 plus 5. And then finally, the value of y will be equal to negative 3. So now it is the time for us to plot the graph or to sketch the graph. So if x is equal to 4, the value for y will be equal to negative 3. So here we will draw an empty circle because 4 is not included. Next, at the end of the point, I'm going to sketch the graph or plot the point. When x is equal to negative 1, the value of the y will be equal to 7. So this time, I'm going to have a dense circle because the value for y and the value for x is included. So now I'm going to draw a line to connect the point. So where I will start with negative 1 
until 4 where 4 is not included in order to determine the range we need to refer the diagram so as we all know this is a linear graph so in order to get the value for range we need to refer to the minimum value and the maximum value for the y-axis so the minimum value will be equals to negative 3 where negative 3 is not included and the maximum value for the y would be 7 so our answer will be start from negative 3 where negative 3 is not included until 7 so here we are and thanks for watching.